Good afternoon, and thank you for joining this special preview of the XBRL Consistency Suite. My name is Michelle Savage. I manage communication at XBRL US. XBRL US is the organization that brought together accountants, standards organizations, technologists, regulators, and analysts to build an industrial strength taxonomy under contract with the Securities and Exchange Commission. In the process, we've been able to develop tools to analyze public company filings, and most importantly, we have created a set of rules related specifically to the U.S. GAAP taxonomy. These rules help public companies like yours identify and correct over 6,000 potential inconsistencies and problems in your XBRL documents before you submit them to the SEC. Use of these rules should be your final check before you complete your XBRL creation process. Let's go directly to the tool and let me show you a little bit more about it. Here we are on the XBRL consistency suite and I'm going to log in. The suite is a tool that includes four components. There's the company filings analysis, which you see down here. There's the section on taxonomy, view, and compare. There's the online community and support. And finally, but most importantly, is consistency checks. That's what we're here to talk about today. In the XPRL submissions that have been made to date, we have identified over 5,800 separate errors. These are problems or inconsistencies related to the use of the U.S. GAAP taxonomy, and they fall into a couple of key categories. The majority of those errors show up when negative values have been reported for items that should have been positive. We actually found 2,800 of these types of inconsistencies. We also found a lot of situations where a value should have been reported if another value is reported. And in the tool, you can actually click on an individual error message or error code and find a company example down below. So this is a list of the summary of all of the errors that we have found. We've also found situations where the filing used invalid XRL where there was a DTS processing error, where there was a value reported for an item that should have been zero, or a value that should have been zero if another value was not reported. So there are lots of potential pitfalls that companies will encounter as they perform their XBRL creation. Our rules, our 6,000 separate checks, will help you identify those and give you a good sense for how you can correct those before you submit them. And because we've developed the taxonomy, working with multiple stakeholders, we're intimately familiar with the structure of U.S. GAAP taxonomy, how it works works, and most importantly, how it should be used. There are different types of validation or checks that companies need to perform on their XBRL documents. The first that we've listed here is SEC validation. This checks the XBRL document for entity-specific information. There's also XBRL validation, which checks to ensure that the correct XBRL specification has been followed. SEC validation and XBRL validation are often included in companies' tools or services, but the consistency check validation lets you perform checks that are based on the use of the U.S. GAAP taxonomy. Consistency checks can be used if you use a tool to create your XBRL financials in-house, but they can also be used if you outsource to a service provider. And in fact, you can have your service provider run the checks for you. Let's go back to the tool again. Three additional tools are available in the XBRL Consistency Suite, and the first that you're looking at right now is the company filings analysis. Company filing analysis gives you access to a database of all SEC submissions in XBRL. It's updated approximately every 30 minutes. And the database gives you a tool set that lets you review extensions created and concepts used by industry group as well as by individual company. As you can see, what I've circled here in red is a set of search filters that lets you create as narrow or as broad a search as you'd like. And then you can narrow down by industry group, as I've done here for manufacturing, to see all the elements chosen by companies within the manufacturing industry. And you can do the same, of course, for extension elements. This is a great tool to identify common practices among peers and to leverage extensions created by others for our own XBRL documents. The next tool that I want to walk you through really quickly is the taxonomy view and compare section. This gives us access to links to all releases of the taxonomy, of course, as well as to an addendum taxonomy that includes pre-created extensions that reflect recent FASB accounting standard changes and industry changes. These extensions can be used as you create your own XBRL financials so that you don't have to, to you know, recreate the wheel. You can compare one taxonomy to another and see items that have been removed or deprecated, new concepts, and you can search for changes by concepts. So again, it's another helpful tool in the creation process. The final piece that we're going to take a look at is the online community. This is a community of your peers. It gives you access to threaded discussion groups and regular blogs by the XBRL US project team to share ideas. So here you can see threaded discussions on accounting and detailed footnote tagging. These tools are designed to be an essential part of your company's XBRL creation process. They are the final check performed 
before you submit these documents to the SEC. They help you identify up-to-the-minute common practices among peers and reduce time creating extensions. To learn more about the XP Rail Consistency Suite, please visit us at http colon slash slash csuite.xprl.us or email us at consistencysuite at xprl.us. Thank you.